welcome to Two Minute Writing Tips. I'm Kirsten and today by request I'm going to show you what my writing setup looks like and why it works for me. My intention in sharing this with you is to give you a starting point of ideas if you are trying to set up a space to write in and don't know where to start. Now your writing space will develop over time. It's not something that you put together in one day because as you work you tweak things here and there. You add some things, you take some things away. My setup is what works for me now, but who knows? At some point I may change something. You have to be open to evolving your space. So bear in mind, I didn't fully tidy up before taking this picture. This is an overview of my setup and each element here is important in its own way. Starting from right to left, I have a picture that has enormous sentimental value to me. My light, my coffee cup warmer, very important. My bookshelf is a whole hodgepodge of things. My son's first slippers, the hat that my other son got the day he was born, one of my certificates, a certificate my son gave me proclaiming me to be the cool parent. These things are important. They are a microcosm of my life. They help me find balance. On my desk, I have my laptop and my iPad and I work with them simultaneously. I use one for research and looking stuff up and I use the other one for writing. Using two screens makes me so much more efficient. I do use a printer, but it's at my husband's desk and I can connect to it wirelessly from any of my devices. The other stuff on my desk is stationary, charging equipment and so on. I make liberal use of whiteboards to keep me organized and of course, I have to have my calendar so I know what date it is. A critical element is my chair. If you take nothing else from this video, take the message that your choice of chair can save you a world of back pain. I've done a video about ergonomics that explains why. So this is my setup. Use whatever ideas you think may work for you. That's it for today. I'll see you tomorrow for a new writing challenge.